Hello, uh, my name is Özcan. I am a PhD student uh, doing a PhD uh, in human rights. Uh, was doing that as of uh, five minutes ago. I was not expecting to be doing a video blog as I am right now. This is completely ad hoc, so please forgive uh, the mishaps along the way. But there does come a point in the day where you feel sufficiently exercised about a particular issue that you feel the need to address and talk about it. Um, uh, what is that particular issue? Um, in Turkey right now, we have uh, uh, one of Turkey's largest conglomerates, Akın İpek, uh, conglomerate being taken over by the Turkish government and Turkish authorities. Now this conglomerate um, works mainly within the mining industry, is 100% Turkey owned, is one of Turkey's highest taxpayers and it also has a, a significant media arm. Now within the media it has two TV channels, two newspapers, numerous radio stations and uh, numerous uh, uh, news websites. This media, what's significant about it, is that it is independent of the government. And in that sense, it asks the questions that need to be asked, and it allows time, airtime, to oppositional leaders. Uh, it is not necessarily very critical in that sense. It is independent. Uh, but being independent of the government uh, is construed as being uh, particularly critical. Um, the, the court order that... that uh, is based on an expert opinion. Now, what's really interesting about this expert opinion is that it states, and I, and I am translating uh, the Turkish, it says, a conglomerate that is this big cannot have accounts that are so precise, that have no errors and no anomalies. This group, this conglomerate's accounts are too good to be true, therefore it raises suspicion. This is, ladies and gentlemen, this is a sort of a verbatim translation. Based on the suspicion of the accounts being too good, uh, based on that frivolous suspicion, the court has ordered the takeover of this entire conglomerate comprising, in part, this media arm. <laughs> what adds insult to injury is that they have appointed uh, directors to the group, to this conglomerate, who are formerly uh, employees of pro-government media. So they are replacing the media with the pro-government uh, uh, media employees. Um, this is happening six days before a national a general election in Turkey. Um, as a result, this is impacting the free and fair elections in Turkey because there are very few news outlets through which oppositional leaders can speak, through which NGOs can voice their concerns, through which the media can ask fair and critical questions, through which society can hold the government and the ministers to account. There's very few arenas left in which that can be done. Just last week, seven uh, news uh, seven TV channels that are considered to be critical again by the government were removed from a number of cable TV uh, uh, platforms and from satellite uh, networks. So one day you've got these seven channels, the next day you haven't. Um, all of this just uh, reiterates the point that came out today. The TV, Turkey's TV regulator, uh, provided some stats today uh, that that over the last 25 days, remember in the run-up to a general election, the AKP has been awarded 30 hours of airtime on Turkey's TV channels, presumably, uh, or on the state TV channel, I have to check that. Um, Erdogan was uh, given 29 hours. Uh, now, those two, obviously, Erdogan being the president and AKP being the party that he formerly led, between them 60 hours. The CHB, the main oppositional party's airtime, compared to theirs, is five hours. And the HDP, the other oppositional party, compared to the 30 hours that the AKP got, they got 18 minutes. That's one eight minutes of airtime. This is just demonstrates how critical and how biased uh, uh, it is going up to these general elections again. Um, the, the, the, the point that I, th that I think I'd like to make is that um, those of us that consider Turkey to be a very important country, that love the country for, for different reasons, that consider it to be strategically important, to be an important ally of the UK, must be critical friends at this point. They cannot and should not hold on to a nostalgia about 
the AKP and what it was uh, at the AKP that we voted for, that I voted for. I flew in and out of Turkey in its first and second terms, stayed there in the airport just for eight hours in order to vote for this party. That nostalgia we need to put on hold for, for a moment because while chasing that, we are in fact losing Turkey, uh, an important ally, an important country, uh, and the people of Turkey. So it's important that friends uh, speak out to their friends and tell them what's going on. There are f elections that are coming up. It is already uh, uh, looking uh, to be rigged in the wider sense of the word. Uh, we must be able to uh, voice that concern and show solidarity against an oppression uh, uh, of, of the media. That was it. Back to the PhD for me. Thank you.